Welcome back to Heaven's Been Boyfriend. This is Sida. And I'm Chancellor. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been so, so long. How y'all doing? <laughs> How long has it been? Two, two, two weeks? <laughs> it's, man, it's, it's legit been long, but welcome back. Welcome back and happy to be filming another video here. Today we have a fragrance here, a new fragrance in my collection, a replica uh, by Maison for Margiela uh, on a date. Stay tuned, guys. All right, everyone. So I was really intrigued with this fragrance when I read about it on Fragrantica. Uh, that's I mean, where I first discovered that Maison Margiela was coming out with a uh, replica line, was coming out with a new fragrance. Um, I really enjoy lipstick on that's the one I that's the one other fragrance I own by this fragrance house and so when I saw those were on the date I was like oh that sounds really really nice for spring and summer so let me check it out went into the Sephora and gave it a, a, a sniff when it came out and um, I wasn't too crazy about it hmm. why, why, why not specifically I thought it smelled good but it just um I didn't think I needed it. Hmm. You know, it smelled really fresh, and but it just, I, I didn't think I needed it. Didn't knock her socks off? What? It didn't knock my socks off initially. Hmm. Um, sometimes you have to smell something more than once to really enjoy it or to understand it. So I sprayed it on initially. All right. Then I'll say a couple of months, a couple of weeks, a couple of months later. Wait, when did this sucker come out? I'll say a couple of months ago. I'll say at least, at least one month later after I smelled it initially. I, um, went back to Sephora with the idea of smelling this because Sephora is about to have their VIB sale, you know, 20% off. Mm, Y'all better lock in. Y'all better get why it's hot. Today. Get why it's hot. Today's the last day. Y'all just like, you know. So me being a little crazy, I'm a rouge, so I want that 20% off, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, let me see if I want to get that fragrance now. Sprayed it again. Wasn't crazy about it. But what I did this time is I doused myself in it because I figured what, what's gonna happen is either I'm gonna spray all over myself and I'm gonna hate it, and I'm gonna want to really wash my clothes and, and and you know go like this like a dog does, hmm. or I'm gonna end up loving it. Hmm. This very same day I sprayed all over myself, I did not love it. I didn't hate it, but it just was whatever, you know. I sprayed all. I was wearing a jacket at that day. I I took off the jacket, put it in the closet, didn't touch that sucker for like a week. Then. I just started my new I started a new position at work and I which is one of the reasons why we've been absent yes so, yeah I started a new position at work and I took that jacket out of the closet to go out because in this case I wasn't teleworking I had to go into the office mm. <laughs> put on that jacket and I was sitting in the office on my first day and I was like man something smells really really good mm -hmm. I, of course I was already wearing perfume but what I was wearing it wasn't connecting with what I was smelling so what I was wearing uh, was um, Ananda Dolce, Dolce Ananda by Emigalef. By Emigalef, I'm saying it right. Is it, is it either Ananda Dolce or Dolce Ananda? I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm not pronouncing it. I, I'm not sure the order of things. I don't have it with me at this time. I was wearing that one. That's more like a peachy, vanillic, almost like a, 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 a '80s doll head smell. I don't care what anybody says. It smells freaking. I love it. So, what call we tell you? Is it Barbie or Chucky? <laughs> no, I, I'm going more Cabbage Patch. Okay. Yeah, more Cabbage Patch plastic doll head. Uh, <laughs> perfumey doll head. Mm -hmm. Wearing that, yeah, wearing that one, and I was like, it's mixing really well. That's another thing, too. If you want to mix this with that fragrance, it smells amazing. So, so sitting there, I was like, what is it? What's in it? It was, it was my sleeve. My sleeve was smelling good. I smelled the sleeve. I was like, what is this fragrance? And I forgot, oh, yeah, this is the fragrance. I, I doused that thing on a date all over this jacket. And that there, they, it had me ordered it, VIB still, here it is. Mm, you know? So what's in the notes, sweetie? All right. See, I did a lot of talking. How much you say the notes left? The top notes, we have the black currant syrup, which it opens up in, uh, with, uh, very pronounced pink pepper, bergamot, middle notes, we have rose, geranium, and davana. Base notes, patchouli, moss, vetiver, and musk. Right. So I'm getting into it, like it, like I said, it, it opens up with that black currant uh, syrup and it uh, intertwines with the rose. But 
I think the, the geranium's probably a little bit in the background to support the rose, and now I'm starting to get more of the moss, like uh, during the dry down. It's starting to, starting to get more of that earthy tone, On which, me, I, which I like. Yeah. On me, I get that the blackberry syrup, but the thing is that it doesn't smell like overly sweet fruits or even it's too much of a rosiness. I mostly get like the the base where the, the um, oak moss, kind of musky, clean, fresh. I'm not gonna lie to you, this, mm. this reminds me a lot of like Creed Aventus when I smell it on a man. But mm. this is for a woman, like mm. not Aventus for her per, per se. It doesn't kind of fall in line with that fragrance. If you like that fragrance, you may very, very well like this one um, as well. But it really like, when I always smell Creed Aventus on a man, there's like a cleanly, clean, this kind of makes your mouth water. Um, but it, it smells really fresh. Right, mm -hmm. right. This is a, a mouth-watering sort of, so like a juiciness. like um, Juicy, but like, fresh. Yeah, it's almost kind of like, I was just kind of explaining to her, it's like going to Napa Valley. No, forget Napa Valley. You're going to a winery or a vineyard like out mm -hmm. in Italy. You know, this, this it gives red wine, like sweet, prosecco. succulent. Yeah, Prosecco, fizziness. Mm. Uh, it just gives a uh, succulent summer on the date. Uh, like we are out having a picnic and probably like feeding each other grapes or having uh, a couple glasses of wine. This kind of, so usually sometimes people associate a, a champagne-y fizziness with aldehydes. Mm -hmm. This fragrance doesn't have aldehydes in it, but it gives you an impression of aldehydes. Like you don't get that, that, that right up. It's not like the Chanel fragrance, um, which is very beautiful and unique in character. There's a classiness to this, but it also makes it kind of more playful and just like really fresh and, and, um, and I would say ageless. When I say youthful, I don't mean since for a teenager. For not a kid. juvenile, right? Not juvenile. Just more like like you like you, you imagine being young and being on a date mm -hmm. and just having this freshness, this youth around you, right? Fresh just mean like you know there's newly sprung flowers and and herbs and things around you, and you're just smelling all these things at once. And um, I really, really, really love this fragrance. Uh, you know, it's funny how it went from base being like eh to like to just like. Over, over, over the moon about it like that's why i think that you know uh sometimes like our nose may play tricks on us you know so uh it wasn't a love for cider the first time she smelled it at sephora but i mean she kind of came back around she allowed her nose to open up and she it, it, it was a it was a hit the second time so you know what and let's talk to how, how this fragrance is classified so initially when i smelled the fragrance not when i initially when i started to love the fragrance i thought of a four year fragrance for women um, I always like the scent of a Fougere. Fougere, um, people compare it to a barbershop scent for a man. Uh, that very clean, just fresh. Um, only this is not particularly that barbershop scent in the sense of it smelling very masculine and herbally and, and just like really uh, up there. There's a sweetness to this. It's like a feminine Fougere. Um, some people may also classify this as a Chipre fra fragrance. Now, I looked up just right now, uh, the comparison between uh, Chipre and Fougere. I was like, okay, I kind of get a similar feel for these kind of fragrances. What's the difference? Apparently, Fougere tends to have um, uh, the notes of like tonka with lavender um, and an herbaly um, this, um Hey, look who it is. It's Silky Moo Bear. I dress like her today. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fougere perfumes are predominantly aromatic. Uh, with notes of lavender, cumarin, which is like a tonka note, geranium, oak moss. So already comparing this to a Fougere, it says it has uh, the oak, uh, it says it's the oak moss and the geranium, and then the sweet mm -hmm. notes kind of, even though you don't get tonka like chocolate, it may it kind of remind me of like a feminine Fougere, but it, it says the Chifra fragrance, uh, fragrances have the lavender, musk, patchouli, um, citrus accords, and, or ambergris. So this is like a very fine in the, in the middle of those two kinds of fragrance compositions of Chipre and Fougere. And it's like, but I, I think it's definitely unisex. Um, for me, it's leaning more towards feminine just because I'm a woman and I really, really love it. <laughs> and I want to believe that, but. But also I yeah. will wear this in the summertime specifically, mm -hmm. you know, as a man, like I said, during the dry down, I'm starting to get more of the, uh, some, some of the musk, some of the, uh, the vetiver, some of the, the, the woody, the woodiness, the oak. Um, yeah. But yeah, and you know what? And I would say too, I was reading uh, Grantica reviews and people were saying, some women were saying, oh, it, it turned far too masculine on a dry down. I really like that about this fragrance. Mm -hmm. Like, 
it doesn't smell masculine. It's just like a very clean, something that reminds me of men, but not in the sense that it's for a man, but it's a, like a man you admire and you want to smell like them, but you don't want to smell like a straight up dude. Yeah. Then you get to wear this one. Guys, thank you again. We were sorry it's been so long. We will uh, try to do better. I mean, we had like some transitions, but we'll be coming back to you guys very, very soon with another one. So, uh, and we, we thank you guys for all the new subscriptions, you know, leaving comments, you know, interacting with us. We always look forward to that. You know what? And then, or maybe we're full of crap and we won't do better. But, you know, you'll see. Keep watching. Hey, once you subscribe, then you'll see if we, we keep our word or not. You gotta stay tuned <laughs> to find out. So, until next time, we'll see you guys in the all next right, video. Bye. bye, guys. <laughs>